as we have a quorum, I wanted to call this Brunswick City Commission public hearing uh, Tuesday, August 13th at 6 p.m. Uh, to order. Uh, if we could please stand for the invocation and pledge of allegiance. Father God, thank you for the time that we have to come uh, to do work citizens of Brunswick. We ask that you bless all of us with wisdom uh, and the courage to do what we need to do to ensure a bright future for all of those inside of our city. In your son Jesus, we pray. Amen. Pledge of allegiance. We will now have the presentation of the city of Brunswick proposed millage rate by city manager. Thank you, Mayor. Good afternoon. Ready to present information regarding the proposed property tax optimal. This public hearing was being fired by 48.5. Notify the public and opportunity for, for public input regarding the action proposed in village rate, which governs the Motor vehicle million non motor mobile homes and heavy duty no road address four hundred eighty exemptions for million or net by 460 million gross maintenance not 33.9 20.7 leaving a net maintenance Six point one hundred and seventy three thousand twenty twenty nine increase in the back. The proposed millage rate for twenty twenty four is thirteen point one nine. It is the same millage rate that the city has had for the last 10 years. The state requires the city to calculate a rollback millage rate, which equates millage that the city would have if we did not in, in, if we did not have increase in the digest. The digest increased by the net $13.1 million, which included $33 million in added value, decrease of $19.9 million in change. If you calculate the millage without these changes, the millage would be 12.2, which is 937 less than the millage rate being proposed. This represents a 7.3% difference in the millage rate, which the state rec recognizes as a tax. The millage rate is not changeable, but the increase over the rollback millage has to be reported as an increase in taxes if it's not. Because of this difference or increase, the whole hearing, which we had one noon soon, we are conducting this hearing at 6 p.m. The hearing on August 21st at 6 p.m. Um, this has to be if the millage rate is not. Because of this difference or increase, we have to provide these hearings, notify the public, and review calculating. As previously stated, the millage rate is not increasing, 
So for persons whose property value is not changed, taxes will remain. Only taxpayers that will be taxed at that increase, ones whose property increase, the ones add to their property. For a home valued at $100,000, the difference is approximately thirty-seven. And for a home valued at three hundred thousand, the difference would be approximately one hundred and twelve. The fiscal twenty twenty five budget was approved based on the thirteen point two one nine rate, with the exit revenue of five point eight million. Concludes my report. Questions or comments from the commission? Uh, we will now open it for public comment. Thank you, City Manager. <clears throat> we are open from anyone from the public who would like to come speak to uh, the millage rate or anything else. Always like to check the clerk, leaving it open. We usually leave it open two minutes for an online. Yeah. As we did this afternoon, we will leave it open until City Manager, quick question. Can you explain a little bit the difference on uh, where we see that loss of uh, herkes in, in the digest? One million. Two million dollars personal property to know that. Um, provided of the company for 2023. The personal property also. In addition, impact. $43 million. million. So the exempt changed by $27 Thank you. Quick question. Um, you you just said that they took it off based upon the dissolution of the corporation. Was the property still in there? Uh, 
I'm sorry. Was the property still in their possession? Was Okay, but we still have a still have an evaluation or evaluation of that property as it sat on that property at Pinova. I'm asking because dissolution of a corporation doesn't mean that you still don't have taxation on that prop on personal property. What they Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah because that because dissolution means that they're not operating anymore it doesn't mean that the property does not belong to our ownership has changed hands and still is not subject to taxation okay Okay. Yeah, we don't want we we don't want to be shorted on. It it should have end. It should have it should end as of date that they are no longer in possession or have title or ownership of that property. Not dissolution of the corporation. Paper. Okay. Yeah, that, that just means that somebody else is now responsible for the tax bill. Yeah. Okay. I, she asked the exact question I was going to ask, which is, and I'm a novice, I want to make sure I'm thinking about it right in a simplistic form. If I buy a house in Brunswick, and I'm the owner of that house, and I just choose not to live in that house anymore, I still have a property tax, right? So Nova and Hercules, whatever the companies are, they are still paying property tax. Well, the value of that property Personal property. Okay. Okay. So we'll find that out. We'll get an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we've made that walk. Yeah. Short walk. Short walk. Um. We will open it for any public comment for another minute, 6.15. If not, we will close out. It is now 6.15. No one has come forward. I will open it for a motion to adjourn. Mr. Mayor, I move that we adjourn this public hearing. Here in the first. Here in the first, do I hear a second? Second. Here in the first and the second, all those in favor show by the usual sign of aye. 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 All those opposed the same. None of the motion passes. We are adjourned. Thank you. No, no. Yeah, they, yeah don't even, don't, I got an email. You ain't going to let them pull a fast one over. Uh, yeah, you good. <laughs>